Hi, I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about simplifying radical expressions. So if I was given this expression, 2 times the square root <coughs> of 8p squared times q to the third times r. What we're going to do is break down each one of these elements here. 8 can be broken down to be 2 times 4, and 4 is 2 times 2. p squared is p times p. q to the third, which is q times q times q, and r is just r. Now we're going to circle our pairs, a pair of 2's, a pair of p's, and a pair of q's, okay? What's left is a 2, a q, and an r. Don't forget that r. So now when I rewrite this, this 2 comes to the outside of my square root, and then each pair represents a one element on the outside. So the pair of 2's, one on the inside, a pair of p's, one on the, uh, one on the outside of me, and a pair of p's, one on the outside, and a q, one on the outside. The square root is what's left over, all the singles. 2, Q, and an R. So we have 2, Q, and an R. Okay? And so now we're going to uh, simplify this at this point. 2 times 2 is 4. P, Q. And write P times Q or P, Q. Times the square root of what's on the inside. 2, Q, R. And there we have it. Our final answer, 4, P, Q. Times the square root of 2, Q, R. So let's recap. We're given 2 times the square root of 8, P squared, Q third, to the third, um, and times R. <coughs> We broke that down, find factorization of everything, and got 2 times 2 times 2, times p times p, times q times 2 times q, times that r. Don't forget the r was still there, I just didn't bring it down. Or write the thing for just one r. Okay? Circle so our pairs, pair of 2's, pair of p's, pair of q's. Okay? All the circle, the pairs, represents a single on the outside. That 2 was still there, so we have 2 times 2 times p times q. And all the ones that did not have a pair were staying, are staying inside the square root, the square root of 2qr. Simplify that to get my final answer of 4pq times the square root of 2qr.